It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Sarah, what do we have today? We have 1792 Bottled and Bond, Ooh. which I've been really excited to try. Yes. So excited. We have to thank uh, the, the kind person who provided this for us. That is Swan, the bourbon guy. You can follow him on Instagram at the bourbon finder. Do that. Uh, Thanks, Swan. Yes, thank you for allowing us to uncork this, because we've not been able to find a bottle yet. <laughs> Generally, we like... 17 yeah, things. Yeah, I think, things. you They're... know, the foolproof I uh, like a lot. Yeah. Uh, the 225th anniversary. Yeah, that was good. Was good. That was good, mm -hmm. yeah. And we have the single barrel, but I don't think we've uncorked it yet. Uh, I think you're right. Yeah, but the, the regular 1792 is solid, mm -hmm. but definitely like the foolproof a yeah. lot better. Usually their, their other offerings have been better than the small batch. Ugh. Ooh. Wow. Sometimes I feel like if I sit too close to you, I'm gonna get a black eye. <laughs> One yeah. of these days, pow! Pop. Right in the uncorking. Okay, so. Right in the uncorking. Wow. Yeah, kind of, kind of banana. Kind of banana. Kind of banana-ish on the nose. But you're also getting the indication that this isn't your regular proof. This is a hundred proof. Which of course. A little nutty. Like an almond. Yeah. 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 I can. I can pick that up. Or a cashew. Or a cashew. You're getting crazy. <laughs> crazy. With don't them. get crazy. Don't get nuts. <laughs> da, 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 da. See ya, folks. Oh my god. <laughs> so, I you know. for the cartoon character. <laughs> for, for those who um, don't know, Bottled and Bond, of course, means it has to be a minimum of four years old. Mm -hmm. has to come from one distiller, one distillery, one distilling season. Um, and has to be 100 proof. Uh, and of course also the government has to have, right. has to be in a federally bonded uh, uh, warehouse. They can get from, into. Yeah, from the government. So it's good to know, you know, bonded and bond, bonded, bonded, bonded and, and bonded. bonded. Bonded and bonded. Bottled and bond. Bottled and bond. One of the first uh, consumer protection acts. Uh, Before bond food. Act, yeah, of We cared about whiskey more than food and that's still yeah. true today. Yeah. So <laughs> I you, care more about, I mean. Well, yeah, come on. Can we? Okay. Yeah, let's. That's different. That is different. It's a lot darker. It's like really sweet up front, but then it it sort of like flips or something. Like it does yeah. a circle around your mouth. Like I'm sweet, I'm sweet, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Working the way to the back of your mouth and it's yeah it's darker than i expected it's a little harsher than i expect i mean when i say harsh i don't mean like a burn just more intense yeah i think it's intense it's like a from the smell i was expecting sweet right you're tasting um like a deep char mm -hmm. yeah a lot of a lot of barrel influence here um dark um kind of toffee it's kind of like a the finish for sure is to me, it's like a darker toffee, like almost coffee, but not coffee because I don't like coffee. It's a, but almost like not bitterness of coffee, but you know that the bitterness of a, a coffee has a bitter flavor of kind a cocoa. of cocoa. Yeah, you know, it's good, but it's like it's harsh. You know, it's intense. It's powerful. It's powerful. I think you know. I think powerful might be better than harsh. Um, yeah, harsh is a negative connotation. Harsh is kind of harsh. <laughs> It's powerful. Though. You're right. Um, With the jokes. But the more I taste it, the more I like it. Like the first sip, I was like, "Ooh, I don't know." Just caught off guard, right? Yeah, I just wasn't expecting. I was like, "I don't know about this." Wow, I'm so surprised at how just dark and upfront it is. On the second sip, it's more like it is like I, cocoa. I, I could, yeah, cocoa, even like a yeah. chocolate, like um, like cocoa powder or something. Mm -hmm. Like if you were to like taste, just like yeah. Sprinkle some on your hand and just taste it. And or a, uh, like a higher percentage uh, cacao, you know? Yeah. Like one of those <laughs> serious pieces of chocolate. Um, intense, would you say? Even harsh? <laughs> I wouldn't say harsh. <laughs> I would say intense. I'm thrown for a loop. Yeah, I, if I, I wasn't sure what to think about it. I think I want to... Oh, I would like to try this one in a flight, blind with other bottles and bonds. Yeah. Um... Right now, it's intriguing me, and I'm thinking that I'm liking it. There's nothing really, okay, there's nothing to dislike about it outright. Like, there's nothing about this bottle that would make me ever say, ew, weird. Right. But, exactly how much do I like it? What level do I like it on? How am I feeling about it compared to other things? I don't know. It's so 
different. Well, you know how you, you've talked Thank about you. loving um, furrows of small batch with chocolate, right? Mm-hmm. I'd like to try this with some chocolate. Ooh. So we decided to get some chocolate. Meh. Yeah. Because like he said, I do love furrows of small batch with some of these chocolate chips. Maybe it's a girl thing. I don't know. I like to sit. I mean, I don't like to sit home alone at night, but when I am sitting home alone at night watching shows, I like to have a Four Roses small batch and a handful of chocolate chips, and it goes really nicely together. Um, these are semi-sweet baking chocolate chips. They're 46% cacao. Okay, 46% cacao. So they're not the darkest of all chocolate chips, but they're... So on the shelves, and I really like them. What's the process here? Uh, just eat some. I and just then drink. eat a couple. Yeah. Kind of let the chocolate melt, coat your tongue. A couple more. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna take a sip. Mmm, that's nice. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Difference in reactions. I guess I'm just used to this. Yeah. I get the same. That back of the tongue feeling like that really nice, I don't know, it's almost like a silky feeling or something, is what I get with the Four Roses Small Batch. And I don't tend to love it by itself, but with chocolate, I really do like it. And I really like this one with chocolate. Oh, that's lovely. That pairs perfectly. It's nice. <laughs> it's just a really good... Mm. Some people will be like, blasphemous, because we just mix bourbon with chocolate. But I think it makes the chocolate taste better. I think it makes the bourbon, I wouldn't say taste better. It just brings out a different quality Completely in it. different quality, yeah. Yeah. It's really just nice. It's a very pleasant treat in your mouth. So. In your mouth. <clears throat> well, um, let's just talk about, you know, the bourbon itself. Now, I think Swan acquired this for around $60. I'm not sure if that's the normal going rate or not. That seems That's high for $17.92. Because the foolproof isn't even sixty dollars. Mm -mm. So I feel like, you know, this might as this is very new, uh, in Kentucky anyway. So I feel like, you know, it might have been uh let's hike this up a little bit because it's right. so new. But you know, Swan being the bourbon lover, wanted to uh, wanted and the finder and wanted glad. to get some and we're very glad and very appreciative of that. Mm, that was so good. I, I think that's We'll call that on the high scale, probably. I think it's a little high. Say this is 50 bucks. I'll still say it's a little bit high. Um, considering you can get 125 proof, full proof for, for about 50 about bucks. About the same, yeah. But this is way different than the small batch. Like I said, we haven't opened our uh, single barrel yet. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is way different than the 225th uh, anniversary. Right. That we um, uncorked with, with Perry. Perry, Perry. Um, so to recommend or not, that's tough. It depends on what the actual price would come in at. I don't know how, if this is just going to become a staple on the shelf, or is this just around like... Limited? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure. I would like to have a bottle if I could come across it for a reasonable price. Anything over 55, I'm thinking... Mm, yeah. No. Mm -hmm. I'm Agreed. leaning more towards the no on that, because there's just so many other good bottled and bonds you can get Yeah. for not 60 I mean, you look at the uh, early times, bottled and bond for 23, 24 bucks. That's great. It's yeah. nutty, and, and we should we should uncork that. We should uncork actually. that. Um, I would still recommend. It's more unique than I think either one of us were anticipating. Yeah. Um, but I do love how it went dark. I do love that lighter nut flavor. Um, I think 100 proof is a perfect proof yeah, it's to be proof. around. You can still drink on this throughout mm -hmm. the night and still be okay um, with everything in moderation, of course. Of course. But Which I think it's course. yeah. But I think it's unique enough and and flavorful enough with uh, and easy drinking enough to be a recommendation in our book, right? I agree. Yeah. If we're going price not considered flavor alone, yeah, I'd say pick this up for sure. But again. Use your own judgment. I mean, what's it worth to you? So yeah, but um, but I pretty much echo your your sentiments. Oh, excellent! So. I love it when we agree. <laughs> it just makes the it's show easier. easier. It makes the show easier. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Well, thanks again to Swan the Bourbon, the Bourbon Finder, out there uh, for finding this bourbon. Make sure to follow him on Instagram. Join his his crowd there. And uh, we'll have to have him on the show sometime. We should. And do an uncorking. But, you know, he's, he's a busy man. He's out there finding. He's doing all the legwork. Yeah. And and thanks to Perry for actually bringing, for being the mule. <laughs> the bourbon mule. Yeah. And bringing this from Swan to us. Mm -hmm. So, thanks, Perry. For doing our bidding. <laughs> <laughs> for doing the dirty work. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks, well, Perry. cool. Um, guys, if you haven't subscribed already, you can 
do so by hitting that button right down there. You can give us a thumbs up. You can follow us on the social medias. We have our Amazon influencer page where you can find where we get our Tribeca glasses and so forth. And then lastly, Patreon. We, yeah, we have our Patreon page where you can become one of our drinking buddies. Right, so go check that out. Those are all the plugs. So thanks, sir. Thanks, Chad. All right. Until next time, drink more bourbon.